so much for joining us tonight on Valley News Live at 10. Notice conditions are quiet. Looking at our Coronado sky cam here in South Fargo, but it wasn't quiet all day long across the valley. We had some snow in some areas. Here's a time lapse from the Dakota Magic Casino Sky Cam in Hankinson, North Dakota, and the flakes just kept coming down throughout the afternoon and even into this evening. Here's a few snowfall reports that came in. Cullum, North Dakota, six inches of snowfall just today. Lisbon, Edgeley, and Sturham, North Dakota, all picking up three inches of snow today and down in forts picking up two inches of snow. That snow has mostly moved out. There's a few flakes left in lakes country and a few moving into the Devil's Lake Basin. But overall, I'm expecting skies to be on a clearing trend for tonight. Here's lucky your current temperatures across the valley. We're at 29 in Fargo. One of the cooler spots. We're at 28 in Wadena, 27 down in the Sisseton Hills. Meanwhile, it's still 36 degrees up in Roseau at this hour. 30 in Grand Forks, Valley City, Langdon and Gwinner. 30 in Jamestown as well. Through the rest of tonight, those clouds will continue to make their exit. A few lingering in the Devil's Lake Basin, bringing a few flurries, but overall conditions are going to be quiet for the most of the valley. By tomorrow morning, temperatures will primarily be in the 20s and some low 30s. A quiet start before some changes by the afternoon. The wind is going to start to increase. Notice the yellow arrows. That's indicative of wind gusts over 20 to 30, 35 miles per hour. This, we're going to see the gustiest winds out in central North Dakota. Some of them try to work their way into the valley, but overall in our region, I do expect those winds to gust around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So a breezy day for our Monday. Temperatures warming up into the 40s to near 50. And then here come those changes. We could potentially start to see some raindrops as early as Monday night ahead of our next system. But let's focus on temperatures first. A snapshot of your afternoon hometown forecast. Right around 4 o'clock tomorrow, 46 in Bemidji and Wadena, 48 in Fergus Falls, 50 Grand Forks, Fargo, Langdon, Devil's Lake, 51 in Jamestown. All right, let's get to that first alert weather day for Wednesday for wintry weather and windy conditions. But again, we could see some of that start as early as late tomorrow night. I want to start this hour by hour, though, on Tuesday morning. We could be waking up to some rain showers, and the main precipitation type expected for Tuesday is just that, rain. We could start to see a few areas of some mixed showers up across the far northern valley by late Tuesday. And then we see a little bit of a break. This is for the overnight hours of Tuesday and into Wednesday morning. But here's why we've got that first alert weather day for Wednesday. Waking up to some areas of snow across the northern valley, some areas of rain showers across the southern valley, and it's kind of a wintry mix through the day. Most areas are going to receive rain with mild temperatures, but can't rule out some spotty areas of that freezing rain, the sleet, and some heavier wet snow as those temperatures are quite mild and I am expecting some slick travel conditions for the day Wednesday. Also another reasoning behind that first alert weather day and we're going to see some wind out of the north gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour Tuesday, Wednesday and potentially even windier as we head into Thursday. Here's what it looks like overnight Thursday and into or excuse me overnight Wednesday and into Thursday morning additional areas of snow light snow for your morning commute Thursday before it exits through the day and that wind stays with us behind it. Very unsettled for the middle of the week as we're heading into this first week of April, first full week of April, I should say. Tomorrow, mild with increasing wind, especially late. Tuesday, temperature still mild, hence primarily rain. Then Wednesday, we have that wintry mix. Wind continues, windy again Thursday, temperatures only near 40 degrees here in Fargo, much more mild as we head into Friday and even into the weekend. We've got some mid 50s to some 60s. Yeah, can't rule out a few light showers, but nothing like we're going to see the next few days. All right. Well, thank you so much, Summer.